Get up. We are back at it with the young Miss Ditto. Ow. I haven't trained her in a little while. I had an injury and yes, was unable to sit cross-legged like this, which is my favorite way to, yes, train him is on the floor with him. And the reason that I like to train on the floor is because yes, it, one helps to yes be right on their level and kind of be as much of an enticement as possible yes in terms of getting their attention but also because then it also it teaches them some personal space yes see where a lot of puppies would be all over you and climbing all over you because ditto knows this game yes good girl she's not Yes. You know, we're getting warmed up here. Let's go to level two. Yes, good girl. It's too easy over there, huh? Yes, good job. So here, uh, as we have before, we're working on our leave it. I haven't told her what it is yet so much as I'm trying to set up the behavior and where, yes, good job. The principle is the same where she has a piece of kibble very available to her uh, and is looking at me rather than taking that piece of food. Mm -hmm. I have a little greater element of control because I can close my hand, yes, just like that. Mm-hmm. Tell me, bad Pippo, what are you doing? You're not going to find extra food here, I can promise you that. Yes! So the goal here is that I have my hand nice and open and she's looking at me rather than trying to take the food and then she's rewarded for it. Same as before, I'm not actually telling her to do anything. I'm just rewarding the things that I like as she does them. That way she's making the decision to perform the task at hand, which then will keep it further ingrained into her brain and I won't have to ask it of her. She'll just offer it in the future. Okay. Back at it, kid. All right, let's get you back over here. We're gonna put her back in the down which I am, yes, saying just for y'all's sake, it's not a command that she knows. Mm hmm gotta be quicker than that. But you wouldn't, you might be. Yes, good girl. What a good smart pet. Yes. Good job. Let's try some food in motion here. It's tough to leave these alone because I'm dropping them. Yes, good job. Give it two. Now you'll notice that I dropped four, yes. And I'm not giving her all four as a reward, but making her earn well, three, because I gave her two the first time. But yes, just because I gave her some doesn't mean she has access to any of the others that are there. 
so much as anything on the floor, I want her to think that she has to ask me for permission to have it, if that makes sense. <laughs> Yes, good girl. There you are. Blocked. Now, because I didn't tell her, yes, that she had to be in a down or that she had to stay in one, I don't mind that she got up for that. That's not a big deal. Also, it presents me with an opportunity to put her back into a down. Yeah, cha -cha -cha. Come get it, you chunky pit. Yes, good girl. Because this is a new concept today, I am giving her jackpots anytime she actually goes down, just so she knows that that is something that I really like. Yes, good girl. You're such a smart girl. Yes, good girl. Now, she's succeeded kind of at the level that I need her to, to where I'm gonna actually give this a label. So I'm gonna start calling it what it is. Leave it. Yes, good, leave it. Good job. Leave it. Leave it. Now you'll notice that I am, yes, good, leave it. Giving her the command both uh, proactively and reactively because I want her, yes, to know, good, leave it. That that word I keep saying is meant to be associated with the action she's doing, which is not taking the food, but rather looking at me. Leave it. I also, I don't bark this command, yes, leave it, sorry. Screwing up my own words here. Yes, good, leave it. Uh, so much as, leave it. Yes, good girl. Good job. As I'm just very clear when I say it. Uh, I don't think it has to be, leave it. Some super negative sounding command, so much as I just, yes, want her to know that that is the word. The reason I'm also dropping multiples, yes, good, leave it, is because it gives me the opportunity to reinforce, leave it, that command by, yes, good, leave it, giving her some from the floor, but then there are others that remain, and when she, yes, leaves them, that's great, but if she does go for them, you know, trying to steal that bonus piece of kibble, then yes, I have the opportunity to issue that command and have her be rewarded for following through with it. I heard that too, it's a creepy squeaky sound. I think that's your sister playing with her stroller. Yes, good, leave it. All right, let's try a harder spot. Leave it. Yes, good, leave it. Leave it. Now, because, yes, good, leave it. This is still relatively new. You gotta be ready to shoot that hand out. Yes, good, leave it. In order to really get, you know, to a place where she is leaving it all the time, you need to kind of have it in a defensible position. Leave it. Also, yes, good, leave it. I will say that the goal here obviously is not to be hovering like this so much as to get your hands all the way back to your lap and then still get that eye contact. Yes, good, leave it. So I want this kibble to be very much out in the open and accessible to her. Yes, good, leave it. Good job, Pitbull. Uh, so that she is really fully utilizing the command, not just being slower than I am because I'm able to guard it. Leave it, so that makes sense. Yes, good, leave it. Yes, good, leave it. Now, I'll give you that too. 
Hey guys, so I am just about finished up editing this video and have decided to cut it into two different parts. It turns out that I ran my mouth a little long and need to split this up into two videos to make it a little more palatable. So this first part, we're gonna have both leave it and down. And then for part two, we're gonna do stay and some tug of war. And we're also gonna play with food puzzles. So make sure you get both videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.